Hi guys! Hello, Stidmore. So, we just wanted to give you a quick update on what happened at the <laughs> centre. Actually, most of you have probably seen it because there have been loads of videos posted. So, the, we're tagging them on Facebook if you want to check them. You're not banned at the moment, are you? No. <laughs> oh dear. I'm banned on Facebook, so oh, sad. I couldn't go live. Never mind. <laughs> um, but anyway, it was a very... What's the word? Um, What's the word I'm looking for? There was got... a lot of aggression, a lot of cognitive dissonance. Immaculate vibes at Twickenham Stadium, where young people in the queue for the jab are shouting, fuck off you prick at the anti-jabbers with a megaphone. A lot of abuse from the general public simply for educating them about... Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Okay. Eh? Yes. Look at you. They didn't want to be told, they all to have the information, and people can see from the videos that... Not only at the beginning, when we, when I got there at sort of midday and I was walking around actually trying to engage with everybody, handing out flyers and having one-on-one -on -one conversations, I was being told to F off. And people were so, so rude. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Hiya guys, give me an energy boost. It's a very tired energy boost, especially when it's eight minutes past eight. You know what eight stands for? Infinity and love and love. Well, this is a message coming with love, okay? Um, <clears throat> it's very early today. I've literally just got up, washed my face and come downstairs, okay? But I'm rising in vibrations, or at least I'm trying to. That is, if little stooges don't try and undo the good work that we've all been doing. And you may not know what I'm referring to, but you know what? You know what it is. I only expose those that need exposing when it needs doing. And turns out we've got people trying to undermine us in the so-called truth and movement. Now, you might not know what I'm referring to because late last night I came across a video. And it was not only Louise T. Hampton. That's right. Today is your day for exposure. I'm a lovely bunny, aren't I? Anyway, this is the crack. So Louise and her friend, Lo um, Rose Diamond. Sorry to interrupt you, Rose Green, but Fiona Rose Diamond is not her real name. Her real name is Fiona Hine. Okay. They've gone down. <laughs> center. That's right. And they've got a megaphone. And guess what? They're there. As Pinky and the Brain to save the world! Gee, Brain, what do you want to do tonight? The same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. That's right! They're saving people from themselves. Well, you know what? It's about time <clears throat> someone spoke about this, and it looks like the job has landed to yours truly. So, guess what? <clears throat> Let's have a look at that video. It's on my wall, all right? It's absolutely disgusting, okay? Stooges. It's funny. It's funny that because we had her paired up with uh, all sorts of speakers. Uh, uh, and that's Rose because obviously she went and she set up all those, you know, demonstrations that achieved absolutely fuck all. Except a few dollars in your pocket, all right? Funny that one, you know, when you have to uh, organise a rally and you've got to go to the police and that you've got to now make sure that X, Y and Z and the safety and all that jazz is uh, met. So, strange that one because I don't see those as rallies. I see those as, you know what, listening to the government and conforming. But anyway, that's not my issue right now. This is what my issue is. Okay. They've gone down to a... <laughs> All right. Pinky and the brain. Because you know what? They're going to take this mission and they're going to save you from yourselves. Well, let's have a look at that video now. That's on my wall. It's absolutely disgusting. She's got the yellow card information and she's reading it out. Over a megaphone, winding the people up. Well, that's not how things are done. Because actually what that is, is 
going against the message of unity. Because at the end of the day, all right, we are not oppressors. If <laughs> that is 100% their choice. Okay, you're not informing them. They're there to inform themselves. And the way you're doing it is actually disgusting. You've got a megaphone and you stood there and you're shouting at them. Okay, and at one point, the nurse comes up to you and she blocks the megaphone out. A thousand people have actually been... Excuse me. Hang on, that's that's going assault. Social distancing. As though, please, okay, this is not appropriate, all right? And what did they go and do? They're screaming in it here, here with the megaphone and basically tell her it's social distancing. So which one is it, Louise? Is it social distancing and you're playing their narrative or are you now just playing a little game for yourself, okay? Let's say it the way it is because those people that you're screaming at are our brothers and sisters who have made their choices and it is not for you to oppress them, all right? Because you're no better than the fucking government. Let's say it the way it is. If that's what they want to do, that's what they want to do. These are people's family members. This is their choice. But clearly, Louise and Co. don't believe that. So you know what they're going to do? They're going to stand outside a vaccination centre with people who've made their minds up with a megaphone and you know what? Make our jobs harder. That's right, mine and yours. Let's be honest, because they're not, they're not saving anyone. What they're actually doing is playing into the government narrative of divide and conquer. These are people's families. These are people's brothers and sisters. Okay? sons and daughters, and if that's their choice, that's their choice. We come into the matter when we turn around and said, please don't inflict your choice on everybody else. It's as simple as that. You want to do that? You have my, um, I would say, blessings. It really is a blessing, but at the end of the day, that's still their choice. And you standing with a megaphone, hollering in the ear of these people, frantically in panic and to make us all look like loonies is not the dumb thing that's not how you do it and then standing on top of the uh, railings and screaming like that assault see an assault unless you know what it was done by superman and it was this it was the speed of lightning i didn't see fuck all all i saw was a nurse putting a folder or a piece of paper to try and block the sound out because she was so close to it trying to appeal to somebody's better nature. But all of a sudden, that one got turned into a soul. Come on, a soul, though. What are you doing? Well done. You can't touch people. Who did that? Go on, Louise. Who just I touched her? To, well, yeah. she did. She oh, no, I know. I saw her. Yeah, I know. Please, please. I don't have any time for any gossip now. Mm -hmm. Eh? Yes. Look at it. Unbelievable. Sorry, I shouted everyone. Yeah, no, well done. How well dare they for making a soul us? Are you stupid or something? Well done. You're right. We care about these people, man. Fucking hell! You want to know what assault is, right? It's certainly not that. 